Enjoying the flight on Pelican Fam Airlines, Freddy? A lot, Sam. Gosh, Luther, it was really great of your Uncle Blenny to invite us to the Founders Day Festival. That's well, right. Uncle Blenny says that I'm his favorite nephew. And you know I'd never take a special <laughs> trip like this without my best friend, Freddy Fish. Freddy Fish? Oh. There's an opening in everything. <laughs> Case of the sword Smooth landing, Luther. Thanks for the lift, Sam. Have a good time. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, hey Joel, how's it going? Uh, this is your best boy, Michael DZ. Mm. And uh, yeah, we're playing some hardcore Freddy Fish. Um, yeah, let's uh. Man, this this takes me back. This takes me back a very long ways. All right. Um, so yeah, this this there's a Steam sale on, uh, and this was two dollars. And I said. Two dollars, yeah, sure, absolutely. For nostalgia, I'll pay two dollars. <laughs> yeah, Freddy Fish. Ooh. So this this isn't the first time I've booted up this game. Uh, so now uh, there's the conch uh, horn shell thingamabobber. Hey Luther, what word do the letters U R C H I N spell? I have no idea. A pop quiz. Can't think. Rain failing. Ah! <laughs> They're so silly. They spell urchin, as in we found a purple sea urchin. I knew it. Okay. Um. So I'm just gonna be. Uh... <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna get through this. Uh, I don't remember it being long, but um, then again, I I don't know. So. Like when we were young, we had lots of time. So let's, let's go that take this. That looks like something expensive. Let's take the expensive thing. <laughs> Yikes! I almost lost a pin. <sighs> I'm not trying that again. Not without something to keep that clam from snapping shut. Wow, man, they they patronize me so much. This is great. Hmm. I wonder what will happen if I pull this plug. <laughs> Great job! I knew you could pull it off! Get it? Pull? Off? Oh, Luther! That was bad, Luther. I feel, I feel bad. I'd better hold on to this. Okay. You just never know when a drain plug might come in handy. <laughs> Sorry, this whole time I'm just trying to hold back laughter at their terrible dialogue. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's just keep going, see what's going Luther! on. Luther! Freddy! Over here! Uncle Blenny? <gasps> no, not Uncle Blenny. Uncle Blenny, what are you doing in jail? Well, Luther, the great conch shell was stolen. The Founders Day Festival can't start without it. Since I'm the grand exalted keeper of the conch, Neat. I'm the prime suspect. <gasps> but I didn't do it. No. Here. Here's a diagram of the conch shell before it was taken. The priceless conch had three golden pipes, but they may have fallen out. Okay. And here's a picture of all the people who were nearby when the crime happened. There's Gil Barker, Claw, Nadine the Narwhal, Rosie Pearl, Pierre the Tailor, and Horst Fetters the Tourist. <laughs> Can't your dogfish sniff out the thief? Old soggy sniffer ain't what it used to be. But if he can get the three golden pipes, he can pick up the scent. We'll find the three golden pipes, Uncle Blenny. You're my only hope, nephew. You and your friend, Freddy Fish. 
Ah, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> let's let's head on back. Um, mm, mm. This is this is some high quality stuff. Um, so as it goes on, I'm gonna be skipping some uh, of the animations that get repetitive and tedious. Um, for example, this uh, this sea urchin. I spy with my lip. Boop. Got it. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that's that's neat and all, but that that'll uh, that'll get tired real quick. Hello, horse feather. Aye. Ooh, that looks like a thing that can hold open thingies. <laughs> Wow, I'd say that's racist, but I have no idea what it's trying to impersonate. Uh, excuse me. That's not going to work, Luther. That foreign tourist can understand what you're saying. Terrible. Let's head down to the, uh, the airplane here. Ooh, a wallet. Hey, look! There are loads of orange sea urchins in this wallet. We're rich, rich, rich! Money. This wallet doesn't belong to us, Luther. According to this identification card, it belongs to someone who used to be the Grand Exalted Keeper of the Conch. <laughs> I wonder I'll hold on to it until be. we can find the owner. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll head back there in a second. That's, that's pretty obvious to me. Alright, um... So, I don't know if my game, my, my computer can handle this game. It's running at a measly 90 frames per second, so... Maybe, maybe not. Well, sorry if there's any stuttering. Ooh, the bullies. Hey, get out of the bullies club! You got it, boss. You don't have anything I need. And let's head on back. Yeah, the music is kicking up. Head on back. And I'm gonna head up here to see if there's anything up there we can make use of. Um, head over here. Okay. Oh, there's an urge in there. And let's head on over and talk to the monkey. I don't, I don't like this monkey, so I'm just gonna skip through the conversation. Are you okay? Yep, she's fine, but oh no, her, her thingy. So let's, let's get her a plug to plug the hole in her boat. My poor leaking boat. Yep. Don't worry, Magenta. There we go, fixed. Oh no, we ripped it. <laughs> so hopefully uh, you remember how this went. Um, but for now, I'm gonna try and get Luther to pick up this uh, golden pipe. Hey, one of the golden pipes is stuck in that banana tree. That looks like it would be too high for us to jump. Maybe I could move the pipe with telekinesis, the raw power of my mind. Ooh! Ouch! What's the matter? I think I sprained my brain. Guess we'll just have to find another way to get that golden pipe down from that banana tree. Beautiful. And last thing to do. There we go. It's not bananas anymore. <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, just burning right through this. So we got a sail we need to mend and a wallet we need to return to whoever the grand exalted keeper of the conch could be. Who knows? And, okay, I can't get that. But then again, I don't know if I even need to go in there. So let's head on back. Alright, let's talk to uh, the guy literally inside of a giant conch. <sighs> Man, I love his sad music all the time. We found this wallet. My wallet! You're both doing such a good job helping me! Please, take an orange sea urchin for your trouble! Thanks a lot! Nice! Just Bagel. one? Luther, say thank you! Thank you, Uncle Blanny! Okay, 
Okay, we got we got the sick sick dough. Uh, now we need to go spend it on uh, you know all the good stuff. So I remember if we go back this way and talk to our pelican buddy, we should be able to get that uh, book up there. There will be visitors from around the world at the Founders Day Festival. That foreign language phrase book could really come in handy. Right as rain, Freddy, it's all yours. As soon as you give me one R and C urchin, that is. Oh, no, I was going to buy weed with that. Okay, uh, here you go. How would you like to sell that foreign language phrase book for one orange sea urchin, Sam? I'd rather get a snack, but an R and C urchin will do. You, you literally just asked for it, buddy. Why? Why? What's... Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Sam. We'll put this to good use. Yes, we will. Now we can get the cleaning zombie, gooby guppy, terrible accent thingy bopper to get this. All right, now I'm gonna go back and I'm going to talk to Pierre the Taylor. Come on. There we go. I am Pierre Zatella. Excuse me, Monsieur Pierre, a friend of ours needs a sail repair. Could you mend it for us? Oh, yes. Oui, oui. I'm the great sail mender. To repair the sail is a snap. Awesome. Here you go, buddy. Monsieur Pierre, do you think you can mend our sail for us? Oui, oui. Now observe, mere mortals, as the great Pierre <laughs> creates from the tattered rag the nautical fashion statement. I like this guy. Ooh, that beautiful voilà. animation. C'est fini. Fini. That's a bad guy. Well, he said to say it. Jeez. <laughs> So, Freddy is a girlfish, right? I can never really tell. I think so? It makes sense. Eh. Alrighty, let's head on back up here. And let us use the foreign uh, book thingamabobber to talk to horse feathers here. Freddy, I can't understand a yeah. word that foreign tourist is saying. Maybe we can find the language he's speaking in this foreign language phrase book. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn the page and try to find the one that matches the one on his back. Man, there's a lot of languages here. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah. Wait, is that? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> May we please have the Shim Sham Jimity Jam Clapper Gapper that's in your bag? <laughs> that's actually what it's called. Pratikum is sent here from the. So, the Shim Sham Jimity Jam Clapper Gapper that's been giving horse feathers so much trouble is what you want? I'd be glad to give you to it. Yay! <laughs> Comedic effects? What? There it is. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Feather, sir. Awesome. So we got a thing, my bobber. And now let's let's head on up and give the sail to the thingy. <laughs> the best best descriptions. I know. I'm very articulate in that way. All right, let's head on up. And head over to the monkey. Hey, Magenta! We've brought you something you really wanted. A banana split? No, oh, no. it's the sail for your boat. Good as new. <laughs> Yay! Does it work? Wow, I'm impressed. And even better, I'm moving! Yay! That, that quality animation there. Oh. Mwah, mwah. 
beautiful. Alrighty. <laughs> oh, it's a lovely island and such beautiful banana trees. Oh, we're not supposed to change it help. back again. They're totally not banana trees. They're uh, grape trees. Hmm. There we go. Much better. Um, Is there anything I can get for you two? Not right now. Thanks. Magenta, could you climb this banana tree and toss us that golden pipe? It's a pleasure. There we go. That was the right button I need to press. Thanks a lot, Magenta. Oh yeah. Now we need just two more golden pipes for old Doggy to pick up the scent. Let's go. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. Gee, I wonder how many golden pipes Freddy and Luther have now. I sure what? hope you're right. I know. Oh. <laughs> oh this is great. All right. <clears throat> Let's keep moving. I got my Jim Gemini Quinter Clapper Gapper Snapper. So, um, we should be able to get the other one. And then I'm not sure where we need to go from there, but I haven't really poked around the right wing yet, so I imagine it's there somewhere. A Shim Sham Jiminy Jam Clapper Gapper will keep that clam Jim from Jam snapping shut. Shim Sham Clapper Gapper. That's, that's a good name. Okay, Luther, I'm gonna need your help. Righto, Freddy! Act as bait! <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> that was closer than I thought. Well, I, I got a golden pipe! I don't care what anyone else says. You're a good fish. Oh. Yeah, but All I would we love need it. is one more golden pipe, and old Doggy can sniff out the thief. Sorry, I, I would love it if Luther just got eaten by that right now, or some other horrible thing just happens. And then, you know, the game just continues on as if it isn't a big deal. But, like, you're actually fairly disturbed. It's like, that person just died. Is it true that we're not going to have a festival? Is it, Mommy? Jump. Gee, I hope they can find the conch show so we can have a festival. I've waited all year. The kid is so fat. There we go. And the mom looks like a bus. I don't know. If you saw that, but that's that's how it always looked to me. All right, let's go up this side. Hello. Step right up, gills and buoys, for the most amazing carnival under the sea. Man. You remember the terrific tumble tubes ride last year? Oh, you well, know it. What we've got in store for you this year is even better. A boring mini game? Okay, let's keep going this way. <laughs> um. Wow, it's a Grandma Grouper fortune teller machine. I've heard about these. Scary. They brought a carnival organ in for the Founders Day Festival. I love music. Yeah. Okay, so that's cool. Um, that means there isn't a tunnel on the left there which goes to the dark room. That means I don't need the flashlight, which means I don't need the mirror, which means I don't need to play the, the mini game, which makes me very happy because I find this little mini game here to be kind of boring. All right, like the rest of this stuff, mm, top quality. But uh, that, that mini game. Look, Luther, mm. a plastic shovel. We could use it to dig a hole all the way to the other side of the world. Whatever you say, Luther. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, let's keep on going. Goodbye, Mrs. Marwell person. I didn't talk to you at all. Okay, this is the first real puzzle of the game. I remember being stumped, but I'm just going to pick this up real quick. And so you can do that. I don't know if he wants to eat it. Gee, that fish looks like it's really hungry for those kelp vines. And what does this guy do? I wonder I how sure he's wouldn't want to get my tail caught in that clam's sharp scissor-like jaws. Like a pro. Also, look, Luther, the doorway's clear. Swell. 
you gotta wonder about like the civil rights of these fish and whatnot, because that fish was wearing a collar and was tied to a post. Did we just free a criminal? Or was he like someone's pet? In which case, that's messed up. Ooh, yay, there we go. Um, Freddy, it's the terrific tumble tubes! I won't fit in these tubes, Luther, but plate. you can go. So, yeah, let's uh. Um, just open that tube! Did it. Okay, none of those. None of those. Is it always the third one you try? I think so. There we go. Uh, let's let Luther in and grab the thing. Whoa! So, yeah, you probably just know this one like the back it's of your hand. It's one of the golden pipes! Whatever, Good um... Good job, Luther! We did it, Freddy! We found all Never three mind. golden pipes! Yeah, whatever pipe... Come on! Uh, let's bubbles see in it, that's if where old Doggy go. can pick up the bad guys then. Yay! So I think this is basically go, the end of the game. Um, so we're gonna see how this goes. <laughs> Come on, Luther. We've got a bad guy to catch. Catching bad guys, yeah. <laughs> and random lion tumble. You know, just as you do. <laughs> Old Soggy! The thief! The thief! <laughs> Touch nothing but the lamp. Touch nothing but the lamp. A jewel. Do I'm it. gonna be rich, rich, rich. Uh oh. Ooh. Hey, what happened? Well, I I saw this jewel and and then I took it out and the door closed and I don't. Just. Put the jewel back, Luther. See, that is right in center. Luther! Oh, Luther, no. You're in jail. Oops. Don't worry. I'll find <laughs> a way to get you out so you can put the jewel back and we can catch that thief. <laughs> Old Soggy, you go on ahead and track that shell thief. We'll meet you back at the center of town as soon as we can. <laughs> Alright, solo adventure. Let's go free this boy. Alright, if I remember correctly, I need to go here. And yes, here's the statue room. And if I try to take Hey! This, I'll bet that's the key I need to get Luther out. Right? <laughs> Nothing in this place is as easy as it looks. I always liked this concept. Like, you're blocking the light, which means, um, your shadow goes over this pad, which means the hand closes. So you need to be smart enough to know that if you have a second point of light so that this pad has green on it, which is the color we're looking for, then we can, uh, then we can get it. Which I thought was pretty cool. So let's head up to the colored rooms. That's red, but we don't need that. Oh, right, we gotta go into the potter room. And it's a the, chisel! Get the I should hold on to this. It might come in handy. Maybe. So yeah, every time you play this game, the uh, the ways you get the three golden pipes are different. Um, there's a bunch of different ones, and they come in random configurations. So the first time, well, the first time you play, I think, is always the same. Let's um, use this chisel to a get that off. A chisel could loosen that crystal. This might set off another trap. But I've got to try everything to get Luther out. Everything, huh? This crystal sure like gives off idea. a lot of green light. That nice. might come in very handy. The crystal grew back. Cool. I think that's because um, they don't want to have to save two versions of the room where you don't have that key item uh, in case it glitches or something. I don't know. It just seems like they need to reset it every time. That sounds about right to me. Alright, let's head on out. And into the mine room. I 
have an idea. Freddy, you're so smart when Luther's not around. <coughs> oh. <laughs> oh! That's adorable. Nice. Yippee! I got it! Alright, let's head on out and free our friend. But seriously, like, we could have just followed old Soggy, um, <laughs> that name, um, up through the grate had Luther not been distracted from our cause. He's wasted all of our times. So he should just rot. Or, you know, we can let him out with this giant key we keep on our person. <laughs> Yikes! Luther! I'm free! Hooray! Let's put that jewel back! Noise. <gasps> Look, Luther, the thief must have dropped this bag. Somehow. <gasps> Looks like we can solve this case. Come on. Yeah. Pasha, if Pierre was in charge, this would never have happened. No conch shell means no festival. And I just polished my tooth. Oh, the colossal irony of it all. <laughs> it's all Uncle Blenny's fault. I'm gonna give that bum a piece of my mind. <laughs> Stop! Uncle Blenny is innocent. <gasps> the thief dropped this bag. When we looked inside, we found this enormous toothbrush. Which means the thief is... Who would need a giant toothbrush? Um, you've got a big the tooth. F Wait a minute. Could the thief possibly be Claw the Bully? Yeah. Oh, no. The Claw ain't gonna get pinched for something he didn't do. I'm clean, I tell ya. Right down to my underwear. Gee, if it wasn't Claw, then who's the thief? <laughs> Okay, enough messing around. You. Nadine, you're the thief. Oh, that could have been anybody's whale-sized toothbrush in that bag. <laughs> you haven't got anything on me. <laughs> Ouch! Oh, no? <laughs> okay, so you do have something on me. That's I confess, really I bad. accidentally <laughs> knocked over the great conch shell with my tooth. And when the golden pipes fell out, I was afraid it was beyond repair. So I... I... hid the evidence of my dental indiscretion. When we do something wrong, we have to face up to it. Trying to cover up only makes things worse. Good morning. Avoiding responsibility and trying to hide your mistake nearly ruined the whole festival. I should have been honest about everything. I'm terribly sorry. Here's the great conch shell. Uncle Blenny, we're sorry we blamed you. That's okay. I'm still the grand, exalted keeper of the conch, thanks to Freddy and Luther. <laughs> and old Soggy. Gosh, what can I ever do to thank you? Well, there's a lot Just of... Just do your duty, old <laughs> grand, exalted urchins? keeper of the conch. Come on, you're loaded. Do more than that. For violating Penal Code 121, Nadine was convicted in what came to be known as the Narwhal Gate cover-up. As punishment, she was sentenced to many long hours of public service teaching fish how to brush and floss. Case closed. Nice. <laughs> and that was <laughs> Freddy Fish 3, Gates of the Full Unconch. Um, I hope you enjoyed this nostalgia trip. I know I did. Um, yeah, that's, that's all I'm going to be showing today. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. And, uh, ooh, these two things. Hey. Advertisements. Okay. <laughs> all right, uh, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm basically about at half hour, so this game didn't take very long, so yeah, that's it for today. Love you so much, Joel. I'll see you around. Bye!